Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I'm coming with another day of the 100 day projects. These short videos or sh uh, quick projects are made to inspire you to, to do something creative. It's perfect for beginners, it's perfect for all of us who wants to practice some techniques or use their stamps. It's just to have fun with your craft. Uh, there is so many amazing channels who already joined this challenge. So if you have been ever st struggle with to find some good idea what uh, to create for your journals, go to have a look. Go to have a look on these amazing videos. It will give you gives you so much inspiration. Today I'm coming with I think it's day six, and uh, day six. Uh, Margaret from Seven Plaza, where from I got this inspiration. She created, uh, I think, four, four pockets from one book page. As I am using newspapers, I'm going to create uh, four pockets from one newspaper page. So today we're going to create multi pocket and I do have one here. So I'm going to show you how the pocket looks like. I have created this one from newspapers. And we have one large pocket behind. Then we do have one window pocket here. As you can see, my newspapers are there. One pocket here and one pocket here on this side. And they are not getting together, so you will never get uh, the inserts to clutch together because they are separate pockets and it's very easy to do this type of pocket and i'm going to show you how you can create it for creating this multi pocket you will need one piece of paper i'm going to take one uh, side of this newspapers so i do have here this rectangle shape of paper uh, newspaper is very fragile so i'm going to fold it half and glue it together to reinforce this newspaper paper so fold it half i'm gonna be using glue stick because that doesn't wet the newspaper and then just fold the opposite half <laughs> or not <laughs> then just fold opposite half and glue it So now I do have <clears throat> nice and kind of a thicker paper, which I really like. So from this one, we're going to create our pocket. First, I'm going to fold this piece of paper on half. And you can do it from uh, any kind of rectangle paper. The narrow rectangle is better, you know. The narrow, not that large one, but the narrow is better. So fold it on half. Then I'm gonna just make a kind of like mark, not kind of like mark for myself. Where is another half? If I will fold this on half again, I'm gonna just make a mark. And to that mark, I'm gonna fold the sides where it's fold this one. So to that mark, I'm gonna fold it and press that dress rest and press it here to make sure I will see where it's pressed and now I'm gonna unfold it like this here and here are four folds which I just folded I'm gonna fold this one opposite way just to make sure I can see that fold so now I do have this one <laughs> from the middle equal sides here what are you gonna do you're gonna grab one of your folds those side folds put this on the f on the table and this fold uh, make a position about half inch from the edge of your paper it's about half inch three quarter of inch from the edge so that's one side now I'm going to grab this opposite side and do the same. I'm going to lay down this on the paper and this one again about three quarter of inch, half inch from the edge. I'm going to fold this. 
So now you should have something like this. And if you will notice, if you will fold this one and this one, these two are folding over each other. So this we will uh, we will use to glue glue them together. That way we will create one pocket here, one pocket will be behind, one pocket will be here and another pocket will be here. But before you will glue it, you can decorate it <clears throat> to make sure you will see nicely where are your folds. Grab some Distress Ink or maybe some marker and draw, you know, all these lines which are here on the top. Then you will see how to fold it later. I'm going to be using Distress Ink and I'm going to distress all these folds to make sure I will see them later where I have them. So one here, another one here. Now I can unfold my paper. So here you can see now what will be like middle part of your multi pocket. Here we will have those side pockets. So in this front part, I would like to create a window. I'm going to measure this one. I do have here centimeters, but I think it doesn't matter. So I'm going to measure this one and cut the, the acetate sheet, which will fit into this space. I'm going to cut it slightly smaller to make sure I will fit in there. You can use the acetate box. You can use maybe some packaging, you know, or, or acetate sheets. Uh, use the thing you have at home, even bags can be perfect. I do have here, this is from acetate bag. I know it's not uh, too strong, but once it's glued on paper, it does make the job. So if you do have some uh, acetate bag, use that and cut it on the piece which you can fit in here. I do have here a sheet of acetate, which I can easily fit here into that space. So I'm going to flip it. This will be the top of my pocket so I'm gonna flip it over I can see here that middle rectangle I'm gonna take double sided tape to that rectangle I'm gonna put my double sided tape I'm gonna take my knife and cutting mat <clears throat> and I'm gonna cut the paper just around the window and uh, uh, around the window around <laughs> those the double sided tape I'm taking my double sided tape like my navigator, how far I should go, how far I should cut. So just this easy way, I'm going to create a window. This one I'm going to be using as my insert. So now I'm going to take the backing from double sided tape and place here my acetate sheet. Lay it flat, take my acetate piece and place it right here. And press. So now when it's folded back, where are my folds? Here and here. So I do have beautiful window in there. So when you have it open, you can also add sewing effect. If you like to add to your project sewing, when it's open, open, it's the best time when you should pull out your sewing machine and maybe sew it all around to give that, that sewing uh, those stitches and uh, distressing. It's perfect now as well. Any kind of stenciling and stamping. Do it when you have your uh, paper flat like this. It's the best way how you can do it. So I'm going to distress all the edges. And I will add to my piece also that sewing because I like that effect. So I'm going to add to all my newspapers <coughs> sewing. I'm going to be sewing just with straight stitching all around and maybe I will add two straight stitches 
on the sides of that frame as well. I do have all my stitching around and distressing around done. I also added, uh, I do have these little notepads with craft paper, linen craft paper, and uh, I added it, added that <laughs> to my off card from the window. So now it's like insert, now it's like a note card. So I'm going to keep it on the side and it's time to put it together. If you would like to add there some metal piece which have to be uh, fixed with brats, do it now uh, before you will glue it together. Now I'm going to grab my piece and to make sure you will know, you will see what I'm doing. I'm going to fold one side. I'm going to fold other side. This will be entry to this pocket. So I'm not going to be gluing here. I'm going to flip it this way and will remember do not put glue right here. I'm going to unlit this one a little bit. Put the glue on the edge of this page here. And put the glue here on this edge. That will make sure these two sides will get glued nicely and will hold nicely. And I'm gonna, gonna also secure it here with this thin medical tape. You don't have to do it. Uh, it's glued already. It's just, you know, <laughs> in my head that I like that medical tape. So I'm gonna place it there. With this gluing, we have created backside for our front pocket. Keep it still on the table. Lift up this side. And put the glue here and here. And fold it down and let it dry. Flip it over, do again, uh, do same with that opposite side with this one. Put the glue here and here and fold it down and let that dry. I'm gonna flip it this way so what we have created don't wanna um, kind of push it too much we have created pocket here and pocket here right now we do have kind of like sleeve here because we didn't glue the bottom yet so as I said this one will be entered to this window pocket so the bottom I need to glue together I forgot to put there double-sided tape. My bad. <laughs> so it should be the double-sided tape because there is acetate piece and this will don't hold it. My bad. Put the acetate piece, uh, double-sided tape, not acetate piece, double-sided tape before you will glue these sides. Otherwise, you will have to get there somehow. So I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to rip the paper not paper rip the tape in the size i think i can fit in there and try it good where is my bone folder i'm gonna press 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 now i'm gonna Try to catch the backing from my double-sided tape and press this one. I need to let dry these sides to get glued properly, but what we have, we have one pocket here, one pocket here, one pocket here, and once this is glued here, here and maybe here on the book page you will have another large pocket behind i think all it's dry and holding nicely hopefully it looks that way i'm not gonna rush to get into my pocket yet uh, now it's time to decorate it and there is plenty of beautiful uh or stickers you can buy you can buy these uh, basic stickers stickers for kitchen you know for spices and use them I use them here one here 
one or two here i put two together around the edge of my pocket these two and this one it's right under the number nine uh, there is so many beautiful not just stickers uh, this is tim holtz pad with the stickers then i found this one there is so many beautiful pads you can already buy with uh, some kind of sayings quotes and stuff like that you can download any kind of digitals or you can grab your newspapers back and go to the gym i do believe we can find something what can be used as a decoration so i'm gonna just very quickly flip through and point something if i will see some here this small may it looks gorgeous sorry for my hands it's from newspaper it's leaking or you know it's melting under the glue so that nine may here right there in some nice color or you know this one this small circle perfect i like the colors i like the, the, that there is something written down this uh, that yellow i will don't use probably because um, it doesn't match too much <laughs> with what i would like to create here but it's perfect as well you know for another maybe with flowers you know these two small um herbs i'm not sure the, what is called this like football something <laughs> they can be used so just go to have a look into your newspapers there will be definitely plenty of small images which you can use uh, or maybe words you can cut out i'm gonna flip through even these <laughs> they are awesome like decoration i hope i will find some smaller one it's right here and underneath is a scan me i'm gonna add it there i'm gonna grab these two definitely if you like the vectors here you have beautiful vectors you can cut them out uh, fussy cut them out from the newspapers and there i think in most of newspapers where it's here any kind of these forms and small numbers here like this has beautiful color blue color i may well fussy cut out this little image here i hope you saw that I'm a little bit out of view but most of the newspapers has um, zodiac signs and most this one most of newspapers has this one puzzles so any kind of the words you can fussy cut out just for these squares and put it there as your decoration look at this i'm gonna probably fussy cut out and here is another one so oh look at this Aha. many of these images can be used as your decoration as your you know embellishment so i'm gonna dig in my big newspapers fussy cut out few of them and we will decorate I have fussy cut out few images. I also reinforce them with the piece of craft paper I do have here. This is from shopping bag. <coughs> from paper shopping bag. So I saved that on the side. And I'm using these old bags for reinforcing my fragile images. And newspaper is fragile. And I'm gonna just glue it here on because I do have there that acetate. So I'm gonna be using double-sided tape and just glue it. On my frame somehow decorative way hopefully is this thick enough yes it is and i found these images in newspapers so go to have a look you will find interesting designs which you can use actually So what I'm gonna place where? What now? One scan me. Oh come on. So I'm gonna gonna start with this. This way. 
where I will place you. I think slightly over the edge of this, just slightly. This one, probably somewhere here, line straight ish. Now, this one, yep, Oh yeah. <laughs> oh come on. Right here. And May will be on the top. think somewhere here. To one side I can put that off cut because it can fit in there. So I do have insets for one side and then I can fill all that pocket with any kind of goodies. And once I do have some journal I would like to place it in. I'm gonna get up journal, open it somewhere and then I can put the glue on all three sides here so, and glue it down. That way I will have pocket from the top, one pocket here, one pocket here, plus this frame pocket here at, at the front. Or I can put the glue just on this side and this side, glue it totally to the corner. That way I will have large nice pocket here so this is my little four pocket assemble from the newspapers i hope you did enjoy it <laughs> i did actually i did enjoy it so much especially that hunting for embellishments it's so interesting you will see your newspapers from totally new uh, perspective and it that's really good it's very creative to flip through the pages and try to find out something what you can use for embellishment <laughs> so this is my sharing for today thank you so much to you all to spend your time with me today thank you so much for visiting me today i hope you will join us with this challenge because because it's so much fun and it doesn't take too long time to create something small like this and you will have prepared beautiful things for your journals thank you so much uh, have a beautiful day take care of yourself and i will see you soon bye